president, governor, general, congressman, senator. Sam Houston held a lot of titles in his life, which ended in this room in 1863. His funeral happened upstairs in the Steamboat House, one of several Houston homes on the grounds of the Sam Houston Memorial Museum. We have 15 acres of property that once belonged to Sam and his family. The Woodland Home is still located on its original site. During most of the year now, we have interpreters who are outside in historic clothes. At the Woodland Home, you'll see real letters written between Houston and his wife. They're changed out every so often, so are the vignettes inside. To be able to give people a glimpse of their daily life, that's, that's how we interpret, and that's what we interpret, and, and that's, you know, we base everything that we do on those documents that we have. The grounds include a store, a number of cabins, and even a working blacksmith shop. It's free to explore the grounds here at Sam Houston Memorial Museum, but if you want to go more in depth, if you want to see artifacts, you're going to have to pay admission to go inside. We have the largest single collection of Sam Houston related items, so you can see cool things like Houston's um, best. He would wear it in, um, in the Senate often. He'd say, you know, I'm just like um, a leopard. I never change my spots kind of deal. The vest is actually Jaguar, a gift from his Cherokee friends. Don't let that ruin a good story. The museum also highlights the Battle of San Jacinto. Because Sam Houston is, you know, one of the quote unquote fathers of Texas, um, we have a lot of early Texas related things as well. Museum director Derek Birdsall hopes this pioneer's career will provide a modern lesson in citizenship. If we can get people to look at the variety of things that Houston did over his career with a variety of people, you know, maybe, maybe we can start those conversations ourselves. In Huntsville, Brandy Smith, KHOU 11 News.